I, holy crap, I can't even talk. My adrenaline that I have right now. Before we get into the swing of things here and check out this buck, um, first I just want to mention off uh, how I've noticed changes while hunting in Region 8 for whitetail. Um, when I was a kid, I remember going out with my dad and we used to go out and see 20 plus deer just from the trucks, just driving around. Um, recently, uh, it just has not been the same in the past few years here. So recently they, uh, they started doing a doe season in region 8 for whitetail um, meaning that people could shoot a whitetail doe and a whitetail buck in region 8. Um, this has put a huge huge damper on the population from what I've been seeing and I'm not out there all the time I'm in no means a professional biologist or anything but from what I've seen what where I'm hunting and just how I hunt now uh, Hunting has become a lot more complicated, um, a lot harder to do, and just finding success out in the field has totally changed year to year, um, pretty much since that doe season has opened. So I just want to make this YouTube video a little bit of like a you guys comment. So comment on the video below um, and tell me what you guys are seeing. It doesn't necessarily have to be Region 8. Um, I'm just talking Region 8 because that's where I hunt mostly um, for whitetail so tell me about the changes you're seeing tell me oh like I don't agree with you um, this is what I see um, tell me your opinion I want to know people's opinion on this I want to see if I'm alone on kind of what I've been seeing happen in region 8 here with the whitetail population or maybe you guys have your own opinions but uh, just comment below on the video after you're done watching and uh, it's just I want to see what other people are thinking, but whatever, that's enough with the conservation talk. Um, let's get into seeing this deer. I have a couple trail cam photos to show you guys. So uh, first off we have here is, this is Frankie in, in 2020. Um, then in 2021 is when I started following him, all the way starting from June. I had a trail cam photo up in this area. Um, I have him. Uh, just after he shed velvet, uh, you can see the antlers here a little bit more white. And then uh, through those nocturnal days when the, the bucks aren't really coming out in October, um, and then into the rut, you can see he's just got a big rubbed up neck. And uh, just I love the fact that I'm I have a history with this deer, and uh, from the summer, and it's been my target buck since the summer, since the first time I laid eyes on that very first trail cam photo and him with him in velvet and uh, it's just so much time and effort put into this deer and for me to actually get my target buck I just could not be more stoked and I get pretty excited so check this out here's the hunt oh my god oh. I can't even breathe I'm shaking I, holy crap, I can't even talk. My adrenaline that I have right now. Holy crap. Okay. 
Gonna keep an eye on him. I've dropped him in his steps. He's down. Okay. I'm sitting in my tree stand, just putting fresh bait. I've been sitting for about two hours now. I have two doves come in, Donafon. They come in from below me. They kind of get sketched out because I moved and I grabbed my gun from behind me and put it on my lap. And they heard that. They kind of like sketched out and they worked their way away. And then all of a sudden I hear something behind me. I'm like, holy crap. And I like do the slowest turn and there's a doe like right, oh, where can I do it? Like right behind me there in that little opening. And then all of a sudden I hear grunt, grunt. Two grunts, three grunts coming up. So I just like slowly move my arm down, click off my safety and then turn my head and like instantly know it's him. Like it's Frankie. This is the buck I've been after. Holy crap. <sighs> Last light. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that just happened. He's down for the count. He hasn't moved at all. Made a good shot. I shot kind of through some brush too. He's pretty thick there. By he was walking. I he came close. He came to about 30 yards. And I tried to move to get my gun up and he spooked. And he ran to about 50 yards. And like I can't really see much past 50 yards, but uh, once he was at 50 and he started walking, walking, and I was on him, on him. Could have shot a couple times, but I was waiting for a good lane. And I looked up and saw that I was gonna run out of lane, so I just stopped him. And I had a, a decent shot, and I took it, and he dropped. He, oh! <sighs> I don't have my big camera or anything. I'm gonna have to go back to the truck. But I'm gonna go check this freaking tank out. <laughs> okay. Tree stand. I was up there. All my baits here. He walked. I'm gonna go to his tracks. He walked up from down here, had that doe over there. He got to right here, and that's when I lift up my gun because I got good cover right here. And he spooked. Oh, he came right, right to here. Boom, there's my lane for my tree stand. Shot. Holy! Oh my gosh. Holy crap. He's down. Oh my god! What a tank! Oh, oh my gosh! Look at that deer! Look at that white tail! Oh, I have so many trail cam photos of this buck, but he is just way bigger in person with dark, dark antlers. Holy crap! That is. A freaking toad region 8 BC whitetail. I don't know how that lighting is, but uh, it's like last light. I don't know if you can see there. And I don't have my headlamp. So I'm going to hike my gun. I have my pack frame because it's hiked in all that bait. I'm going to hike all this back to the truck, grab my headlamp. Strip down a couple layers and uh, drag this buck out. I also kind of want to grab my big camera and take some good pictures before I get them all gutted up. Well, there he is, Frankie, the one and only legendary Frankie. Worked so hard for this buck this season, starting in the summer and mid November, he's down right in the rut. Came in grunting. Thought I ruined it, thought I blew it. He uh, he spooked, and but he ended up stopping and uh, presented me with a shot. But uh, just a beautiful, beautiful Region 8 whitetail. This is just as big as I get around here, honestly. I really, really wanted this deer and uh, worked hard to get him. So thank you, Frankie. Gonna fill the freezer as well, which is always good with the season I've had. Awesome. Has to be one of the best sights there is. Nice drag mark. Oh, luckily this is probably 
the most slippery snow I've ever been in. And he's coming out nicely. Whew. All right. Oh. We're going. Within 100 yards of the truck now. Oh, what a buck. What a deer. All right. There he is. Awesome. It is 616. I pulled the trigger pretty much right at uh, right at 415. So two hours. But we got him. Now we're off. I hope you guys enjoyed our uh, first whitetail video of borderline hunting. There will be many more to come. And uh, just glad I could share my experience with this deer. So be sure to support us to hit that subscribe button below, comment, like. Share this video with others. Um, there's a lot more content to come, so just uh, stay tuned.